inspection, the number one selection, TRP. And tonight on Fight Night, we are finally getting to the main event of the evening. On Friday, December 6, 1985, there was a big night of fights. It included Mike Tyson versus Sammy Scaff, Dennis Milton, Leroy Halley. You've seen two of those fights. Well, finally, this is the third, and this is the main event. It's Iran Barkley taking on uh, Mike Tinley for the WBC Continental America's middleweight title. What's that, you ask? I don't know either. <laughs> no, back in the day, uh, the Continental Americas were basically the you know, minor belts. You know, the WBC middleweight title was the big one, but the WBC Continental was just, you know, you know, like a WWE champion, WWE Intercontinental champion. Yeah, this was the Intercontinental title, was the middleweight division. And Barkley was coming into this, I think it was 16-3, and three, and Tinley was 19-2, and two, so they were pretty evenly matched. So, let's get to it. Barkley versus Tinley. In the ranks of the middleweight division, Aran Barkley and Mike Tinley, a classic matchup. All right, so we're going to get past the highlights here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, this is that Madison Square Garden. For the Continental American Middleweight Championship, in the clear corner, from Camden, New Jersey, wearing one blue sun, weighing 157, with a record of 19 and 2, set by knockout, Mike Lebanon Tinley. Mike Lebanon Tinley? No, oh, can't be. 19, 2, and 1 with 7 knockouts, which means he usually went the distance. And in the red corner, from the Bronx, New York, wearing red and white trunks, wearing one. Yeah, Barkley gets the hometown uh, cheer. 16 and 3 with 12 KOs. Rand Barkley has become a favorite around here, John. He's been very impressive this year. Well, he's, uh, he's got a first fighter, so he's an auxiliary fighter. He makes you want to come back to see him, and after that knockout of Roger Sippy, a fight. All right, referee's instructions. Yes, the fighter like Sippy. I know he still has quite a bit. Yeah, Iran Barkley recently knocked out Wil uh, Wilfred Sippy on, who was once a victim of Marvin Hagler. All right, here we go. Ding, ding, round one. Yeah, he beat Robbie Sims. That was Marvin Hagler's half-brother who beat Roberto Duran. Oh, Jesus, what do you want? And the middleweight champion at the time was Marvelous Marvin Hagler. So this is going to be the Intercontinental Champion, <laughs> more or less. Oh, yeah. They're saying that Barkley's thrown too many shots that they're missing. That means D Tinley's defense is pretty good here. You know, don't don't uh, don't think that Barkley's not a pretty good boxing composer. Fairly good boxing. When he's in there against the guy who is a better boxer, but uh, not nearly as good as a hitter as uh, Barkley is. Barkley is certainly improved as a boxer. We've seen that um, in the last several fights. Uh, 
Um, Round one of 12. Oh, boy. This is going to be fun, isn't it? Number, lasted a minute, 19 seconds. Took out Sammy <laughs> <laughs> talk about Sammy, uh, Bar uh, Sammy Scav getting knocked the hell out by uh, Mike Tyson. Seconds of the first round. Henley's done some good work on the inside. Ding, ding, in the round one. Round two. 12, Aran Barkley in the red trunks. Mike Kenley in the white. Sammy, you're going to see uh, Tinley uh, take a day two off from this fight, Sammy. He's going to lay back. He's an excellent, uh, an excellent boxer. He's going to slip a lot of punches. He's going to wait for Barkley to come out and try to catch him as a counter puncher, but I don't think you'll see him play the lead. Barkley should know that by now, and he ought to go to work. <laughs> he ought to go to work. And you mentioned earlier, Sam, Barkley is missing an awful lot of punches. Oh, that was a nice right hand by Barkley. He didn't do anything with it. Oh, nice right cross by Tinley. Nice left jab by Tinley. He's going to use what he's got. He's got the jack. Who knows what else? He's got the jack. He's got the jack. One good shot, Sam. One if he can find Timmy with one good shot, he'll slow Timmy down. He'll be available. Oh, that was a big right that rocked Henley. Ding, ding, in the round two. That was pretty good. That sounded like a fire alarm instead of a bell. Robbie Sims. Upstairs. Barkley looking better here. Both men 
Marcus. Barkley, who is trying to force the fire, he's trying to do the lead. <laughs> Getting points to the odds of the judges, he should be at least. He's not made about three judges, so hopefully he does not uh, participate in the decision here in New York. And they start the fighting. Oh, Barkley. No, but see, that's the thing about Barkley is he rocks him. This is the second round in a row. He's rocked him with a big shot, but then does nothing with it. Never a fighter known for his defense. It's uh, a good job of offense here. He's also picked off a lot of friendly punches. Professional boxing is coming to you from Madison Square Garden, Philly World. And President John Diamond at ringside. All right, round four. Oh, that was a big left. Big left by Barkley that rocked Tinley, but he's not doing anything with it. Nope. Oh, wow. Tyson would have finished him off in like two seconds. No, Tinley's okay, but... No, Tinley's doing the right thing by clinching and staying away to clear his head. Barkley screwed up there. He should have went in for the kill. Oh, there's another good right. Barkley's on him again. Uh, he's throwing shots, but Tinley's blocking as best he can. Uh, Bar <laughs> Literally, Tinley's walking away with his back turn. Barkley should have ran after him. Yeah, Tinley is... What is Barkley waiting for? <laughs> Finish him off. Look at, that, look at that. Tinley's like literally walking away, dancing away, and Barkley's not doing anything. Now he's trying to finish him off, but got 30 seconds left in the round. Very wobbly legs for Mike Tinley. Barkley with 20 seconds left in the round. Tinley looks at the clock, hoping it'll be his friend and get him a one minute rest. Tinley needs some time in the recovery room right now. He's getting cautioned for holding. It's the end of round four. Tinley has survived. Big round for Rand Barkley. Tinley <laughs> puts his hand out like, yeah, I survived. Wow. Every round 
<laughs> that was pretty funny. Round five, fight. Here we go. Round five. Denley looked sharp in the first two. Barkley has come on in the last two and very big in round four. Barkley did not punch himself out. He very well could have done that, but he didn't do it. He kept his cool. And I guess he says to himself, uh, Barkley got hit with the left. Oh, Barkley gets nailed by Tinley. Uh, it seems like a lost opportunity. Barkley had him on the run, but couldn't finish him off. Then Tinley had Barkley stunned, but couldn't finish him off. Thirty seconds left in round five. Ooh, nice combination by Tinley. Professional boxing is coming to you from Madison Square Garden, California. All right, end of round five. Yay. Round six. It's still the blood stain from Sammy's cap earlier. Nobody ever cleaned it up. Once again, Barkley's got Tinley stunned, but he's not going in for the kill. Ooh, went for the big right hand that time. He just missed it.
Webster has been the distance many, many times. Barkley, earlier in this year, did go 10 rounds with Randy Smith. Yeah, they're saying Tinley is the type to go the distance, but not Barkley. Twenty seconds left. Oh, nice hook by Barkley. Oh. Yeah, Barkley could throw a shot. Madison Square Garden. All right, we're halfway home. Yay. Round seven. Fight. Barkley tags Lindsay with a left. Oh, nice left hook by Barkley. See how he follows up. Let's see what he does. Nothing about Barkley. He can tag the guy, but he doesn't finish. Oh, nice left hook. Woof. Big overhand right by Barkley. Missed. Oh. Yeah, Tinley's done nothing this round. Nice left hand by Barkley. Oh, Tinley's throwing some left hands. He's just missing. Twenty seconds left. Five rounds to go. Well, the good thing is we don't have the in-between rounds shit. All right, round eight.
So the title was vacated by Jose Canonis, and this was the successors. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So he says the title was not vacated. It was stripped because Canonis wouldn't fight Barkley. So they throw Barkley in with Tinley here, and the winner would be the new champ. This is a good matchup. Just about what we expected. The puncher Barkley. Oh, what a big punch by uh, Barkley. But Barkley doesn't follow up. Always a good argument. Who's better, right? Barkley's throwing some big left hands, big right hands, but he's not hitting well. Oh, big uppercut. <laughs> Well, Tinley can take a punch, that's for sure. Yeah, that's the thing. Tinley usually goes the distance. He doesn't have much power. Plotting and plotting and plotting and then he explodes. Oh! Tinley with a big uppercut missed. Half a minute to go. Round eight. 30 seconds left on the rerounds. Oh, Barkley tagged him again. Ding, ding, end of round eight. Four rounds to go. Round nine. He's only been to round nine once. Ah, oh, so this is unch almost uncharted territory for Barkley. Now the question is, is Barkley going to run out of gas, or is he going to catch Tinley eventually? Well, they're trading punches right now. That's pretty good. <sighs> Ooh, Barkley with a combination. Oh, Barkley locks him on the left, left hook. Oh, Tinley's cut. Ooh, that looked low. I think Barkley gets away with a low blow. All right. You mentioned he's a well positioned fighter, Sam. He hasn't slowed up, even though he's hurt. Earlier in the fight, he hasn't slowed up at all. Pace is the same. And his punches are uh, just as good now as they were in the early part of the fight. Oh! Good right hand, Tinley tying him up, trying to tie him up. Oh, Tinley's starting to fight back. 
Barkley. Yeah, Barkley's st he's starting to breathe heavy here. The thing is, Barkley is way ahead on points because he's been landing a lot of shots, but he is kind of looking like he's running out of gas. So Tinley's either going to have to knock him out in the last round and make sure or Barkley's going to cruise to victory here. Ooh, nice left. Oh, that rocked Tinley, but he's not following up. Oh, 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 he's ready to go. Nope. Tinley fighting his way out of it. Smart clinch. Ten seconds to go on the round. Tinley's going to survive. Three, two, one. Ding, ding, ding. That was a good round. All right, ten, round ten. Tinley and Barkley starting to land some left jabs. Oh, big shot by Barkley. Oh, Tinley's starting to rock. See, that's the thing. T Barkley is landing a lot of heavy shots that are rocking Tinley, but he just doesn't finish. Well, things are slowing down a little bit here. Oh, never mind. As soon as I said that, Barkley lands a nice left cross. Yep. A minute and a half left in round 10. Barkley has never gone past the 10th round at this point. 16-3. Yeah, Barkley's got major league left eye problems. Yep. It's just a question if Barkley can hang on or not. Oh, big left hook by Barkley. Yep, they said it was boxer versus puncher, and so far Tinley has hung his own as the boxer. Well, that shows you how much heart someone has, like bloodied or swelling, you can't barely see, but you barely breathe, but you're still going to get up. 15 seconds left. Oh, yeah. Barkley's eye is swollen. Ding, ding. All right. Uncharted territory for Iran Barkley. The 11th round. Oh, God. His eye is mangled. Oh, he's got two rounds to go. He's ahead on points. See what he can do. Oh, big left by Barkley. Well, it's a 12 round fight. Oh, he told him to break, and Barkley threw a shot. Well, he doesn't look dead yet. Yep. Mike Tickley 
Hindley took his best shots, and he stood st he's standing up. What do you think? I got Barkley ahead, barely. And the thing is, Barkley has landed more heavy shots that rocked him. I think that's going to make the difference in the judges. Like, Tinley has done an outstanding job boxing, but Barkley has done an equal job punching. Barkley gets rocked with a right hand, but he's fighting his way out of it. Yep, Tinley, you know, he, he did the same thing Barkley did earlier. He didn't, couldn't capitalize. Oh, God, Barkley's eye is swollen shut. I don't think he can see. Oh, no, 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 he fell down throwing his own punch. Yeah, he threw a left haymaker and he fell down. That wasn't a knockdown. Yep. Barkley's running out of gas. Tinley knows it. Yep. Tinley made. Barkley's landed more shots. I think that's going to be the difference. All right, going into the twelfth and final round. Ding ding. Been no yeah, Barkley can't see. Yeah. All right, Barkley, let's go. <laughs> oh, great, great display of heart by Barkley. His, his, his eye is swollen shut. And Tinley's going for the knockout right now. Tinley's going for the knockout. All right, this is this is how you want to see a fight end. Oh, what a shot by Barkley! Yeah. Oh, oh, big light! Oh yeah, Barkley's tired. He just threw a terrible right hand. That left eye is done. What a performance by both of these guys. Bar Tinley did a great job boxing. That's for sure. Oh, get come on, mix it up. What's the matter with you? One of these guys is going to need a knockdown. Not even a knockout. Knockdown was probably going to win. Oh, what a shot by Barkley. And, yep, once again, he couldn't follow up. Didn't leave with experience. He clinched. Yeah, Barkley's just watched the clock. He's like, oh my god, I'm finished. And he's throwing shots. He's, it's not like he's running away. One minute to go in the fight. One minute to go. Oh, Tinley's going for the combination shot, but Tinley went for the combination and landed, but Barkley countered with his own. And now, uh, Barkley's right eye looks swollen. Oh, what a nice uppercut by Barkley. Twenty seconds left. Ooh, what an uppercut. I see it looks like 
Barkley's landing more shots. I think that's going to be the difference here. Ding, ding. That was a good fight. Yep. Well, whoever gets the decision earns it anyway. Tinley either wins it by outboxing Barkley or Barkley landed enough shots. So let's see what the decision is going to be. <laughs> Mike Tyson's <laughs> wearing the custom auto hat. <laughs> Mike Tyson's like, yeah. I'd never go that round. <laughs> you know, Sammy Scaff's got on his way to the hospital. Mike Tyson just chilling. That was a hell of a fight. Great performance by Tinley to box. Oh, yeah, they're just working on Barkley's eye. That is not going to feel good the next day. <laughs> that is not going to feel good. Yeah, two of the three judges are ex boxers. Let's see what they come up with. I know what I come up with. I come up with Tim Lee tomorrow. I do too, John. Alright, the announcers think Tim Lee's won it. Alright, here we go. What the hell do they use it in cursive or something? Jesus. No, they don't even have the belt ready. <laughs> no wonder why it's taking forever. There's the belt. Hurry up. Well, they want to get it right. Can't blame them. All right, here we go. <laughs> he now almost walked in the microphone. Wow. What? Yeah, that's ridiculous. Wow. That was a ridiculous decision. Oh, that's ridiculous. No, because one judge scored it like it was like the other guy knocked him in the next week. And then the other judge scored it. The other guy knocked him in the next week. What the hell? That is a ridiculous thing. It was a lot closer than that. Tears of joy from Moran Barkley. Talk about hometown decisions. And Barkley's crying that he won the fight. <laughs> and Tinley's like, you got to be shitting me. I don't blame him. Two, yeah, that judge scored at 118, 111 or something like that. What the hell was he watching? Yeah, Barkley landed more shots, but not that many. Okay, well, that ends that. Let me shut this off. All right, that was Tinley versus Barkley, and that was a very, very weird decision. Because, uh, like I said, Tinley outboxed out Barkley, but Barkley landed a hell of a lot more shots, even though he was the one with his eyes full and shut. Well, that was a hell of a fight. It could have gone either way, but the judges were like, like, it made it look like Barkley just knocked him in the next week, where that was not the case. So that was weird. But Barkley gets the decision. He is the new Intercontinental Champion.
Because Marvin Hagler was the middleweight king, but Barkley was the next one. All right, that ends this episode of Fight Night. See you next time.